So let us together configure VMnet 8 for netting. We have VMnet 8 sitting right here. So that is what we will be configuring here in this video. You and I together do this with me. To configure VMnet 8, we do not need everything that is shown here. So we will simplify that a little bit. I will take the inside network away like that, and I will add a PC1. You should do the same. It's coming up here to VMnet 8. VMnet 8 right here, it is part of router functionality in VMware Workstation uh, router one here. So let us see how we configure that. Let us bring uh, the drawing here over to the side and let's start uh, configuring. Bring up Workstation. I brought up PC1 here, the one that I have added over here to VMnet 8. We should make sure that PC1 is actually connected to VMnet 8. And that is the case. If PC1 is not connected to VMnet 8, select it over here in your network list. Let us immediately check that this PC actually has um, internet access as shown over in the diagram. Count of three, I only want three pings. And here we go. PC1 has internet access. So let us configure PC1 and um, VMnet 8 for this. Let us start by looking at uh, VMnet 8. In edit, we open the virtual network editor. Here we have the settings for VMnet 8. To change them, we have to click the change settings. Select VMnet 8 again. Select NAT. It is your choice if you want to connect a um, host virtual adapter. Set the subnet IP to 1056.16.0. That is what we have in our drawing. And set the subnet mask to 255.255.255. .255 .255 two as indicated here. This is the slash 22 as indicated in our drawing also. Make sure it's VMnet 8 that you have selected and that you are thus configuring here. Now select the NAT settings. Make sure you set the gateway IP to 1056.16.1. That is what we have in our network diagram right there. Check the settings here for VMnet 8. The subnet IP should be 1056.16.10 as set over here. And the subnet mask is set there. Check that these settings are okay. The settings that we have down here, just leave them at the defaults. So we're done now with the settings for VMnet 8. Press OK and press OK. And now to bring up PC1, we have to do the network settings for PC1 also. Disable network and edit connections. I have already done this, so you will just have to do the same or something, something similar. What I have set here is a name for my connection profile, so I can set it, select it when I need it. The address is dot three, subnet mask 22, 22, and the gateway is one over here. So gateway is there. Subnet mask is there or there. And the IP address is the one indicated here in tandem with what is indicated in the cloud. In order to be able to use our browser sensibly, we should add a DNS server. 
I have chosen 8888 because it's easy to remember, but there are other DNS servers out there that you can use. Save your settings. Close and re-enable networking. Check that you have chosen the static IP that you have just set up. And we can now check that our um, PC1 here can um, read the internet. And there we go. Everything is fine. So VMNet 8 is now providing network address translation for our 1056.16 network. These private IPs, for example, the dot three address will be translated into a public IP address out on the internet here so that we could read dr.dk with our little ping here.